have you got it? The, I like to talk with a new crop, you know. Some of you probably know this thing, some of you already. How many of people you eat the quinoa grain? Good, thank you. A good number of people. So, and let me start with this one. And, uh, I will talk two part of my lecture. The one part we will uh, talk about briefly with the grain quinoa. The, what the quinoa importance of this one, nutrient content. Then I second part I will talk about with the greens, quinoa greens, leafy vegetable. So it is, we will talk about two parts in the, I know you are hungry, this is going to lunch time. What is quinoa? <laughs> the chinupudi, it is under the family of chinupudi, uh, chinupudiasi, uh, uh, and scientific name it is chinupudia quinoa. And in the soybean field, in the other field, growth field, you can find the lamb squatter. It is the one of the species of the uh, Chinopodium. Uh, so, other member, you can see this one, Amarantha, that is what we, some of the people we eat the Amarantha, and also the spinach, which is the common, most of the people we eat the, uh, the uh, spinach. The second one, it is one of the healthy food nowadays and it is the it is called as a superfood. All the nutrient content you can find on this one. Even more than meat you can find all the nutrient content. I will talk about this one. Then it is not a cereal. Sometimes we, those are the rice we eat, we eat uh, the oat. These are the cereal. It is a monocot and this is the dicot. So it is not the true cereal. It is called the pseudo uh, cereal and it is origin from South Africa, Peru, Bolivia and about 500 years back it was the, uh, it was originated there and for last uh, the 100 years it was not known, thousands of years but most recently it came forward and it is now treated as one of the healthiest food. So in USA the a small amount is grown on the, the south, uh, the north, northwestern areas, in the hilly areas, the Colorado, the Washington, Utah, and very small amount is grown, and no uh, crops grown in the Midwest or in the, in the south. As, as USA imported around 80, 78 million pounds of quinoa from the, uh, the South Africa. You can imagine about 95%, 96% of the total, total demand is filled up by the imported quinoa. So, and it is, you can see this one, the spinach we can grow only in the winter, but in the, the uh, quinoa, it is grown, the, it has a broader adaptability, a little, it can provide cold or also in the summer, it can grow very well. So let me talk about the very briefly about the nutrient content of the grain quinoa. It is gluten free, some of you know, and excellent sources of protein, about uh, average 12%, and contain high levels of all amino acids, I will uh, give you briefly, and high concentration of calcium, magnesium, ferrous, carbon, and the zinc, and also contain the other vitamins, and also essential fatty acid it contains. And this is the year 2016 uh, uh, was uh, 13 was treated as uh, the uh, the, uh, the year of quinoa. You know the food and uh, world uh, food and agriculture organization declared as a year of quinoa. And then it contains uh, you can see the here the, it contains a high amount of protein. It compared with the, this is published. It Compared with the quinoa, eggs, meat, and cow milk with the protein, fat, and calories, you can see this one. And also the minerals, it is the, uh, compared to the I made a table with other grains. You can see quinoa, corn, wheat, and rice. Then if you see this one, most of them is higher amount in the grain. So, then possible health benefit. Grain quinoa, those who eat the grain quinoa, you know these things, it uh, help in reduction of cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, colon cancer and obesity. 
and also it contain oh sorry it contain the antioxidant and anti cancer activities so let uh, we see the what is the importance of vegetable in our healthy in our daily life usda recommended five servings of fruits and vegetables per day for a healthy person and at least one serving should come from the leafy greens the unfortunately only 10% of the america they take the certain recommended daily amount of vegetables and the uh, people with the lower income minorities and the elderly and rural resident are priced out because due to the these vegetables fresh vegetables if you go to the market you will see that the higher price than the any other food so people those are the elderly or the in the marginal level they don't like to buy the fresh food so and also for the health benefit a single variety lettuce or the, if you get only one vegetable you know it will not supply all the nutrient what we contain what we need for our uh, body so uh, several uh, the uh, variety several vegetables we will uh, we need for supplement our nutrient so and non traditional this is the it is non traditional variety non traditional varieties are sometimes rich in nutrient so now i like to talk about the leafy greens you know that the when i started the for last three years two uh, three years back i started with the production of the grain quinoa grains in the midwest i am the uh, then suddenly i remember that i saw this is the chinukudiam quinoa so i eat at back home i am from asian country so at back home we eat the chinukudiam alba what is the uh, lamb squatter so i saw the similar plant and then i tested i grow this one in the organic field in 19 uh, 2017 you know the then i saw that it is taste is very good my three kids they like this one any other vegetable they like this one so then i it was in my mind that i can uh, go ahead with the research on this grain as well as you know vegetable so and it contain non traditional vegetables and excellent source of vitamin i will go to the next slide and you will see that the rich in protein amino acid and low in carbohydrate can be grown in the early winter late winter and also in the summer and then can be harvested uh, twice from one plant you know that it is called retonic when you grow then after one month we can harvest this one if you harvest around 3 4 inches high then we can regrow this one within 3 weeks we can harvest the leaves again so in one planting we can harvest two times okay then short growth period in 4 to 5 weeks we can harvest this one so this is the you know the we grow this one on the greenhouse in the field also i grow this one and these are some of the pictures so and easy to grow and require less amount of water the quinoa require the least amount of water for to, compared to other vegetables and also less fertilizer and now i am coming to the what i am we are doing at the uh, lincoln university the first of city in missouri so lincoln university we have the one of the around 250 acres of organic farm one of the largest uh, research farm we have so we are doing research quinoa grain in the quinoa grain and this is the quinoa uh, greens so in the both the farm the i am doing the research uh, for the grain and greens also the vice versa so this one the for this year we are doing the research on both the farm and also in the some other uh, different location and recently in last october i published one paper with the uh, uh, and we do the nutrition analysis it is the open access journal if you like to uh, copy of this one please send me the email i will send you the pdf file so and then i compare this quinoa amarantha and spinach <coughs> the spinach is very common and amarantha you know some of the people So in most of the Asian and African people, they eat lots of amaranth as a vegetable. And here you can see this one. When I compare with this one, you can see most of them in the high protein 
And at the same time, it is low carbohydrate. So what we need this one. So it will be high protein and low in carbohydrate. And then so you can see, the, it also contains the ash, higher ash and the fiber. And fats also, it contains less fat than it even with the spinach. Then, am I essential amino acid? So we did all the analysis, the all uh, acid. So here you can see, it also contain a uh, good amount of lysine. So in the meat or, when you go with the meat or meat, you can find the less amount of lysine. So earlier, uh, the, so it is a good source of the, all the amino acid, if you can uh, see. This is the good amount of the essential amino acid is here. And the mineral content, I compare with the three with the vegetables and you can see some of them is very good calcium, is very good, uh, higher than the spinach and also you can see, see the phosphorus, it is higher than the spinach and also you can some, find uh, some of these, it is very good among the, the iron and zinc. So you can say this as like the grain quinoa. Quinoa greens also contain lots of the uh, minerals. And also, the, we analyze the heavy metals. And here you can see, this is the, the, the three tropes we, we compare. And you can see the least amount, you can see very less amount compared to other two vegetables. You know, they contain the, the heavy metals. What we don't uh, need. And then, the, now I like to show you the different stages what I am growing in the greenhouse, just to. And uh, by the way, for the farmers, you know that we like to grow in the early season. So in the high tunnel, we can grow for the season extension. If we plant in the high tunnel, these are the experiment we did last year. The, in the, we planted in the March 15, then we harvested in the April 15, then we will do the ratoning, then we harvested in the after just one month, in the May 10th, like it's after 25 days. So this is the early, the, we can do the season extension. Then we can grow in the field in May, May, June, July, you can grow, the farmers can grow. Every 30 days they can harvest. And also in the later season, in September, we did the planting, September 10th in the high tunnel again. Then we harvested in the April, uh, the October, then we do the return. So like this way, we calculate six, seven times farmers can grow these uh, vegetables. So these are the, some of the things we uh, fix up for your information. So, and these are the, just the uh, plant height is around the 12 inches. So the, we cut down at around the, you know, the, eight or nine inches, we leave around the three, three or four inches for ratoning. Then we do the just normal watering. And then this is some of the picture, you know, can see this one in the, uh, for the normal field, conventional planting we did. And these are the, some of the organic cultivation we did in the, in, in the carbon farm also, and the, in our organic farm and also the, in our conventional farm. So these are the, you know, the last year, I, uh, last year we grow around the, uh, around 50 pounds of this one and I distribute them around 30 people uh, about the taste. The, some of them, they told it very good and they asked me for two, three times to give them. And these are the uh, different way we can cook this one. And it is the, for last three years, you know, I am going growing and also the beating this one. So, okay, current research, what I am going to do, the production optimization of quinoa greens in the high tunnel, greenhouse and in the field, under organic as well as uh, conventional uh, environment and also uh, extension and extension of quinoa greens production and marketing. And also we will do the factor analysis, nutrient content of the, in the organic, and a conventional field when you grow this one and at the same time we will do also soil analysis to see the difference between the uh, nutrient content in the soil and also in, in the microbial organism. Okay, so thank you.
for your listening and inviting me to come here and I acknowledge Lincoln University, University of Missouri and Organic Valley. They provided the seed money for doing the research and also USDA for supporting my technician and my salary. Thank you.